Hi everyone, welcome to Tangle with Tracy Ann. In this week's video I'll be focusing on a tangle called Ropus and it's by Natalie Plakova. In today's project you could use a Zendala tile. I don't have one so I've cut one out of this Hot Press Arches watercolour paper. Your basic supplies a micron pen would be fine and I've added a watercolour pencil, a gold gel pen and a water brush.
Along the bottom edge, I'm going to add some flux. It's an original Zentangle pattern, but this is Rick's version of it. Now I'm going to add some extra tangles in the top part of the ropus pattern. I might add some thicker lines with this uniball pen. I often use this for colouring in or thicker lines, but it's very wet and it seems to be bleeding a little bit into this paper. 
so um, I think I'll give this pen a miss and go back to my other pen Now that I've finished drawing, I'm going to add some shading. I've put shading on either end of those strips, but if you wanted to, you could shade all along that top lip and uh, make it one piece. I've shaded it this way because I want it to look like a ropey pattern where I can see the background behind the ropey strands.
I've built up quite a bit of graphite now and I don't want to smudge my piece so I'm going to rest my hand on a blank piece of paper. Now that I've finished shading, you could leave it like that and I'm really happy with how it looks. If you're not quite sure whether to take this further, I would recommend take a photo. That way you've got a copy of the original drawing in case you're not quite happy with the end results when you add a colour. This is a watercolour pencil that I've got from one of the project packs that I bought from Zentangle. You can see that I'm just colouring where I initially did my shading. I don't want to colour the whole thing because I want light and dark areas and if I didn't put my graphite pencil first you could just shade it using your watercolour pencil the way I'm doing now. If you accidentally go over the lines with this coloured pencil, I find this very fine eraser really handy and that way it removes the colour before I activate it with the water. I'm going to use a water brush to activate this pencil but if you've just got a standard paint brush and some water that would be fine too. I always keep a tissue or some paper towel handy so that I can blot the water if it comes out a little bit fast.
Now that I've got to this stage, I think I want to add some texture to the background. So I'm choosing a colour from my Polychromos set of coloured pencils. This violet pencil matches the colour I've already used pretty well. So I'm going to add some print prints to the background. I think I need to brighten it up a little bit, so I'm going to add another colour. Um, could choose this colour, but I think it's too similar to what I've already used. So let's look at something else, and I'm pretty happy with this magenta. What I'm going to do here is just add a little bit of extra shading. Now, why not add a little bit of gold? So that my gold stands out a little bit more, I'm just going to outline it a little bit with black fine liner pen. I've noticed that my magenta is looking a little bit grainy, so I'm going to use this Derwent blender pen just to blend it out a little bit and get rid of that grainy texture. If I get too much colour on my pen, I can just scribble on a piece of scrap paper and uh, clean it up a little bit. If I zoom in a little bit, you can see how this pen is dissolving that grainy texture. 
It's a little bit like using a solvent. I just find the pens a lot easier to manage. So here's my finished result. A little reminder of what we did with just the pencil and pen. And this is without gold, a, another example. On this one, I used black with gold and white gel pen. And the same with this, but with colours. This is on a grey tile using some blue ink and white charcoal pencil for highlights. And this last one is on a tan tile with brown ink and again white charcoal pencil for highlights. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, do that so that you don't miss out on future videos. If you'd like to share your work in my Facebook group, there's a link below this video. So thank you for watching and until next week, stay safe and bye for now. If you'd like to see more of my videos, head over to my YouTube channel or there are a couple of links here on the screen. And while you're here, click on that subscribe button.